Hey groupies, welcome back to Form of Therapy here on The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host, you can call me PD. And today we are checking out Gunshot by Card. Now, I'm very excited to check this out. Now, I read somewhere that this might be Card's last comeback as a full quartet uh, until Chasef gets back from the military because he's going to be enlisting soon. Uh, I'm excited to check this out, but at the same time, I am a little bit... A little bit sad. It's a bit of a bittersweet uh, moment, but still, we're going to be checking this out. Uh, before we do, if you enjoy what we do on this channel and you would like to support us uh, beyond just watching our videos, we would greatly appreciate if you visit us on Patreon. If you go to Patreon for as little as $2 a month, you get early access to our reactions like this, listening parties, exclusive Japanese reactions, but for just a little bit more, you get access to our live stage variety show, drama club reactions, um, bonus content, is all on our Patreon, so we would greatly appreciate if you visited us and consider supporting us. But supporting us monetarily is completely optional. Let's just check this out. This is Gunshot by Card, and this is your form of therapy. All right, here we go. Whoa. Oh, the end looks amazing as well. I don't give a damn about you when you say yeah. I don't give a damn about you. It's pretty. As long as you love me, the good or the ugly, my shit and hell can change. It's like you control me without you. What genre is this? Wow. Just the vocals of just like her screaming out is What the hell?
interesting. Okay. Oh, it 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 begins the way it ends. Interesting. The body that she's standing over is actually her own. Okay. So before we check this out again, because I want to check this out again, because I think this is uh, perhaps one of the better. I don't know if better is the right word, but probably one of the more visually uh, interesting card music videos uh, that has a lot more of a production backing behind it. I feel like cards music videos always since the beginning have never been on like the full scale of a K-pop budget like most music videos. That's not to say their music videos have ever looked bad. They have never looked bad. In fact, I would say um, card has always... Uh, Card has always produced really, really cool, visually spectacular videos um, within their budget. And uh, I, th I just think that this one, uh, they put a little bit more into it. So uh, I want to check it out. But song-wise, it sounds like a song um, pertaining to... Sounds like abuse of some kind. Um, sounds like verbal abuse, especially with the words going, your words are like a gunshot. That's the hook of the chorus, right? Um, now, that could be interpreted interpreted as someone who is, I mean, if we check out the song again and we listen to it, um, perhaps it'll give us a better understanding. Um, but it could, uh, it could be in relation to someone who's in an abusive relationship relationship with somebody um and visually uh them cut up scarred and stuff like that it's a visual manifestation of verbal abuse um but also this could be interpreted as it's not you you could be in a verbal uh abu verbally abusive relationship with somebody else but the way to uh, approach is uh, another version of herself, a cleaner, non-cut up version of herself, and then shoots her and kills her and then bags her up. It could also be that the verbal abuser is herself, you know, like we all have moments in our lives where we are down on ourselves, especially if you do suffer from some kind of a self-loathing, uh, depressive uh, sort of issue. And that could sort of be the abusive relationship um, that you're in with yourself. Uh, that could be an interesting take on it. So let's let's check it out and let's uh, we're, we're we're gonna stop and start um, during this second run through. So let's get it. I mean, this setup alone. This setup alone is really cool. Really cool. They're all hooked up to blood bags. Um, they're all being monitored by these uh, cameras uh, and medical equipment. They're all slowly starting to wake up. This scene here is really, really creepy and interesting. They're wearing like these black masks, these faceless masks with um, the mouth portions 
they look like they're sewn shut but also ripped open at the same time <laughs> I love that. I love how she just comes in going, ah. Uh. It's such an interesting disruption to the song. Yeah, she's sharp. Hold on. No, no, no. Let's keep watching. It's like you control me without you I'm lonely She was acting there was really good The editing there was really cool too Yeah, it looks like there's two versions of the members of CARD in here. The ones that are clean-faced, and they're the ones sort of acting out. And, like, you know, there's the imagery of, uh, it looks like someone's trying to stab something, uh, her cutting something. Um, all of that is, um, it's like them hurting themselves. And it shows the people with the scarring uh, in pain and in anguish. So, you know, it. I feel like it does relate to um hurting oneself and how um the 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 verbal words uh manifest into you know they say your words are like a gunshot but here it visually actually manifests manifests into something physical um you know they're saying you know your words hurt so much it feels like it's some kind of physical pain and the music video is portraying it as such um i really like it it's really cool uh, I think this genre feels really different. Um, I feel like uh, Card for the past few comebacks have been going for like a lot more like hype, bombastic, loud music. And this one feels a little bit more toned down, a little bit more low key. Um, I don't quite know how to place this genre. I mean, what would you even call this, you know? Um, like, this isn't necessarily. R&B, I wouldn't say it's full hip-hop and rap either. It feels like such an amalgamation of different things. And that has always been Card's thing, right? Card has never really felt like a one-trick pony. And they have been really hard to define as a group. Um, and so people have often divine, defined them as just a co-ed group. But they are more than just a co-ed group. I think they're musically so much more interesting. Um uh you know people who people who i feel like don't pay attention enough to card uh will say things like card makes the same music uh, over and over again and to that i say like well you know in the beginning they made a lot of dance hall inspired music and i would say they were pretty ahead of the dance hall curve before any of uh, the rest of Korea was, and I would say they even perhaps inspired the initial first wave of dancehall in K-pop, uh, but this sounds remotely nothing like dancehall. The past few releases have sounded remotely nothing like dancehall, so um, the criticism of them making the same music and the same genre is unfounded, but it is hard to define. I feel like this one is a little bit more up in the air. Um, I do feel like as powerful as it is, it lacks a little bit of 
I guess a flair. I, I I think just because with Jacef going out, um, I expect it's something more of a bigger send off, uh, a bigger hoopla. Um, but if we but if we put it into into the context of without that, you know, it's it's fine on its own. But I do wish that we had gotten something that was a little bit more uh, bigger and perhaps um, loud and explosive. Um, but you know that's just within the context of Jacef uh, enlisting. Uh, I think in and of itself, it's a very powerful song. Um, I, I think when it comes to Cards music, not a lot of their well, I would say a handful of their songs aren't as deep and powerful as this. So I actually really, really like that. And I think um, an interesting route for Card to go down would actually be if a lot of their songs started getting a lot more deeper. Um, I, I think that could be a niche that. Uh, Car could also dive into that'd be really cool, um, but that's my reaction and review to Card's Gunshot. Uh, I think it's visually really cool. Uh, Chi Wu looked really really awesome. Uh, I loved the, the different colors of her hair. Uh, BM, you know, BM looks like BM, which means that he looks like an Adonis. He looks like a Greek god. Uh, Homin looks amazing. I would say the one person who really didn't get to like kind of show off visually was Jacef. I feel like uh, a lot of people here got to, got to wear some really elaborate uh, costumes or try some elaborate hairstyles, um, but Jacef didn't. What's up with that? Uh, I, I thought that would have been cool. Uh, in the teaser images, Jacef looked freaking amazing, um, and so I thought we were gonna get some interesting visual elements from Jacef here, but. Uh, I, I feel like Jacef uh, didn't get as much as the others did. But, you know, that's my reaction and review. Let me know, what did you guys think of Card's Gunshot? Let me know in the comments down below. And once again, if you enjoy what we do and you would like to support us, visit us at patreon.com slash formatherapy. For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to videos like this and more. Uh, for just a little bit more, you get live stage variety show reactions and uh drama club and stuff like that all the bonus stuff is on patreon but if you don't want to support us monetarily that's completely fine why don't you go ahead and just hit like down below leave a comment uh let us know what you thought about the video uh just go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell and check out all our other videos over here and i'll see you guys later bye